Hello, it is time to review the new, or new to me at least, Western Digital My Passport Portable Hard Drive. This is a one gigabyte hard drive that I purchased. And as you can see, it's really tiny for its one gigabyte size. And by 2011, I'm sure that there will be flavors bigger than one terabyte. You can get this in 500, 750 gig, and the one terabyte. Now, unlike its bigger brother, the, uh, my book, I think it was called, you have to have separate power to operate the hard drive and the USB cable to send and receive data. This only needs the USB connection to both power and send data. Now, just like just like the uh, any peripheral like your cameras and what have not, you plug it in and it's ready. Okay, I don't know what that is, but and now here it is. And of course when this comes up, you can just simply open the folder and there you have it. You can now use your My Passport. When it's lit solid, it means it's just sitting there idle. Of course when it's flashing, it means it's accessing the drive. And if you have the your computer powered off, such as a sleep or standby mode, it'll flash very slowly in a steady rate. Anyway, this is a basic review because it comes with something I'm not using and not going to bother reviewing, which is the Western Digital Smartware. Basically what it lets you do is it lets you secure your hard drive. This hard drive was built specifically for backing up files. It is not intended in any way to be used as an external hard drive that you can frequently access. Now one of the features that this does have is you can lock your drive and it also has a feature in which it will display in a bar graph how much space is available and break that down into other bars as to the percentage of particular file types. Mostly everything on here are MP4s and both MPEG2 files that are and are not of the advanced HD codec. So for example, I've got about a quarter of this filled up. There would be a bar graph, 75% will be blank, 25% will be show that there's files. Of that 25%, there'll be a bar within it saying like 90% MPEG-4 and a tiny sliver for 10% MPEG-2. I did not install that because it's not needed in my case. I would also like to use this in multimedia players. So we're gonna kill this. If you wanna if you wanna protect your hard drive, you either store it out of view or just don't uh, give it to anybody. However, it is a good idea to install it if you do use it on computers that other people might use. I don't have that issue, so I don't need to install it. It's pretty much useless in my hands. And you got your user manuals and all the languages. So, how does it work? You simply plug it in like I did, and you can use it right away. You don't have to do anything special. Let's just pull up a video and see what happens. How will it work? Let's pull up a video and see. 
This is Georgia 551, and we are here in City Square, in the part now, of the Dead Galleria that's still used. Now, as the video is playing, you can see it's accessing. When you're accessing something consistently, like in a video, you're in good hands. This thing will work. Subway. So if you want to play videos off the little hard drive, or MP3s, multimedia in past. other words, you're good to go. However, I would not recommend this product for games or anything that needs occasional lookup. Let me try this again. I closed it stupidly. Okay, there's my passport. Let's just pull up a user manual. This, uh, we'll just select that. And we'll select English. User manual. All right, here we're going to start to see why you should not use this thing as we don't need that. Why you don't use this as an external. Because when you're not using it right away, it goes into standby mode. Now watch what happens. As I thumb through, well, it actually loaded the whole thing. But what happens is if you're playing a game or what have not, the hard drive, when it's not being used immediately, will wind down and stop. So when you're using something that suddenly it needs to look at the hard drive again, your computer will appear to lock up. But in reality, it's just waiting for the thing to spin back up again. Now here's a good example of how the file system, its graphical file system works. In this little demo, which I'm going to blow up a little more because it's probably not going to show up too well. This is how it works in this little Okay, it's not going to cooperate. Like, here's uh, an example of what its file system will look like. It shows how much is free, how much of it is used up. And within there, it shows a bar graph as to how many or what percentage of the hard drive is being used. Note, however, that if the percentage is too small, it stays at a fixed size. So this percentage might not be 100% accurate. So, would I recommend this product? If you want to use it for multimedia or for general backup purposes, definitely so. But if you want to use it for storing computer games or anything in which it needs to frequently get to the hard drive, and I don't mean frequent like multimedia, I mean every now and then, no, not really, because it's just going to, the computer will just stall, and you're going to wait 5 to 10 seconds for this thing to spin up, then start to do whatever you're trying to do. So, no for games or things that need uh, seldom access. Yes for multimedia and yes for backup. So if you're looking for a backup drive and or something in which you want to play on a multimedia device, multimedia player, like the Western Digital media player that hooks up to your TV, this is definitely the choice. That This is George F551 saying this is your basic review of the hard drive. Have a good one.